Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And I'm coming to you live on Wednesday morning, March 8. Um, it's 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and I come to you live every Wednesday morning. Um, so that means you can find me here every week on my Facebook business page, um, facebook.com slash dazzledbystamping. And you can find me, <clears throat> excuse me, any other time on my website at dazzledbystamping.com. So let me know when you get here so I can um, say hello to you and chat with you. I'm going to refresh my screen a second um, so that I can see comments even when I'm, um, even when I have my camera down when I'm stamping. And hi, Nancy. It's good to see you. <laughs> see you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I can't believe, I don't know what it's like about you guys over there, because I know stuff is coming from some direction. I don't know where for Friday anyway. Uh, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's absolutely gorgeous here right now. I can't believe how how bright the sun is. Can you see it's just like on my face? Um, hi, Dot. Thanks for joining me. Um, are you still coming to me live like on your break? Yeah, I know more snow is on the way on Friday for us. I just don't know which way it's coming from or if you guys already have it. Hi, Jamie and Marsha. Um, good morning. Thank you for sharing, Dot and Marsha already. I appreciate that. So, <clears throat> break. Well, thanks for joining me on your break. I appreciate that. Um, so, quick mention to anybody who is new to me or is watching and that I don't know. Um, so, what I make, I give away. So, um, how you get entered for a drawing um, for my giveaways is um, by sharing my video. So you share this video and then you come back and tell me that you shared it and then you'll be entered into what I call my randomizer, which I'll do in a second. So I think I have two cards from last week um, that I will be giving away today. And um, I'm going to be making two cards today too. So, um, so yeah, so thank you for sharing my videos. I appreciate it. Um, it helps me grow my business. Hopefully it helps other people because um, hopefully it's just a bright spot in their day, whether they're working or just um, just hanging out or whatever. Um, crafting is fun and I love it. And so hopefully um, uh, you enjoy my videos. So thank you for sharing. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad that you're here. Okay. So I'm going to go to my randomizer and draw my names. I have everybody set up. I even have the extra spot that I usually end up forgetting and have to click it quick. So I'm hitting start right now. I have a writing utensil close enough. Terry Costin, you're a winner again. And you're here to hear it. <laughs> I remembered. I don't know if you remember me saying sometimes I just don't remember when somebody's on, even though I just said hi to them. Okay, so congratulations. Ah, uh, thanks, Dot. Having you here is a bright spot to my day, too. Okay, pick another name and start. And Marsha Hill, congratulations. Okay, I have them written down. Um, okay, so I'm done with my randomizer. So my winners, in case you just came on, are were Terry Costin and Marsha Hill. Congratulations. Okay, so today I'm going to share a stamp set with you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, just a sec. I just shared <clears throat> some of my, um, my, <clears throat> they're not swaps. I don't know what you want to call them. 
um, from my, oh, well, I'm glad you've, your, your computer finally found me, Dina, or phone. All right, so <clears throat> yesterday I shared a couple cards um, from my VIP stamper of the month from last month. And um, so I told you I had to have it, or I was glad that I had it once I started seeing her cards because uh, I would have had to buy it um, eventually <laughs> after seeing hers. So I'm playing today with Share a Milkshake. So it's in the mini catalog on page 12. So here is the stamp set. I'm trying to get it so there's not glare for you. Um, so, well, that's better. Um, so here's the stamp set. And I'll show you the dies, but most of them aren't here because I have them in use. <laughs> um, so it's page 12 in the mini catalog. So this is something that I also mentioned um a couple of days ago, um, that Stampin' Up, well, so this would be regardless of the color fresh, but Stampin' Up um, recently um, notified us that they were going to be, oh, thanks, Carrie. Hi, Jamie. Um, uh, they're going to be doing a color refresh, which means that there are going to be some colors leaving and some colors that are brand new besides the new set of in colors and some colors that are coming back. We know two of those actually already. Um, those are Pretty Peacock and um, Lost Lagoon. And we know those partly because they're already part of a few things that are in the um, online exclusive, <laughs> easy for me to say, online exclusive products. Um, so I think there's some designer paper that has it and um, there were some embellishments, but those are gone right now. I, I think they're coming back, but um, as you know, there's no such thing as back order. So you have to get them while they're available. Um, but anyway, so with the whole color refresh in mind and with the, um, two, we're gonna have two catalogs that are retiring. One is the mini catalog, they're both ending in April, and the other is the full catalog. So um, there are going to be colors that are retiring um, for sure um, by the end of April, um, but they're gonna be announced or we're gonna see what's here, what's not um, on March 29. So you're going to want to get your favorites sooner than later um, because we just, once they're gone, they're gone. Whether it's cardstock or ink pads or um, ink refills or stamp sets or whatever, if they are, um, I have lots of both. I I don't I don't know what that means, but I'm glad you love both, whatever that is. <laughs> um, so there's um a set of in colors that's leaving. Um, some of them could be staying or coming back as a, as part of the color refresh, but as far as we know, what's expected because one set of in colors always leaves every year and then a new set comes in, um, we're expecting, sorry, I'm looking at my, my wall of colors over here, um, polished pink, um, fresh freesia, pale papaya, Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. That set of in colors is gonna be leaving. Um, so you need to be start taking taking stock of what you have and what you have to have. What are your favorites, even in the core colors, like the ones that are in the, the four color families because um, it's possible they could be leaving, we don't know. Hi Marlene, I'm glad that you could join us. Excuse me, so, um, Anyway, just a heads up, so you, um, oh, the color's coming back, gotcha. Yes, both of those are great colors. Um, so that's just a heads up. Don't wait just because, just, just don't wait, because they, things fly off the shelves once we start with a retired list. Um, so anyway, 
just adds up. Okay, so we're working with Share Milkshake, but also um, we're going to be working with a couple different... Um, <laughs> You're so sweet, Riley, and that's awesome. Um, Jamie, my customers loved your VIP stamper cards. You did an awesome job. Um, hi, Marsha. So I have two Marshas, two Jamies. Any more doubles today? <laughs> I'm glad that you joined us today. Okay, I'm going to put you down, and I'm going to show you a couple of the, um, the designer papers that we're going to be using today, too. Um... So, I'm, yeah, you did such a good job. Um, so, I'm going to put you down and show you these. Um, and also, I don't think that I told you, other than I mentioned it um, in a comment on Facebook or something. Um, I'm planning on the um, Share a Milkshake as my next dazzling card club so I still need to work on samples for that I might I might let you vote and have one of these designs that I'm going to be showing you today be part of the card club otherwise I'll have four more um, designs that we'll be using um, so anyway I'm going to put you down I need to do my magic I need to unbackwards you upside down you sorry quick and then I can put you down. Okay, so the first designer paper that um, I'm gonna be using is the Country Gingham. Um, so this is in the mini catalog. I think it's just the page before in the mini catalog. So there's um, all kinds of ginghams and mint macaroon, bashful blue, sweet sorbet, that's one of the newest in colors, petal pink, and that must be sweet sorbet in the middle there. It looked kind of like a brown um, when I first looked at this this one. But it's, it's like the red, the sweet sorbet is in between there. Okay, and then I'm also going to be using um, a couple tiny little pieces of... We have this um, In Color Glimmer paper that it's in the newest in colors, Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Titian Tide. And it's ombre. I don't know if you can tell that, but it goes from light up to dark. And it's six by six. Both of these um, designer papers were six by six. Um, so this is the Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. Holy cow, that is bright. Antiation Tide. I like that. It reminds me of our um, of our tumblers that we have for sale. Oh, hi, Tina Frey. Fry. I forgot. Is it Fry? Um, um, Antiation Tide, Orchid Oasis, and Starry Sky. So I'm going to be using a little bit of that. Fray. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I probably was saying it wrong before. <laughs> um, so sorry. Well, I guess I said it right the first time I said it anyway. Okay. So I'm going to be working with those and um, I'm actually going to be having, using um, a bunch of dies. I'm not doing tons of stamping today using a bunch of dies, but I have most of them cut out already. So here are my pieces that I'm using. And I'm going to show you, oops. I'm going to get these out of here a second. All right, so here are my dies that I'm using for my first card. Um, so here's like a, uh, so soda fountain cup, uh, milkshake kind of cup, cherry spoon, and ice cream. Oh, so this this die is really cute. I'm going to show you this quick. I thought there was some sort of shadow thing here or something, but what it is is there's a little cutout in the middle here that they had to do an extension here. So you can tuck 
your um, spoon or straw in um, in here. So, um, so I am doing one of my favorite ice creams, especially when it comes to when Todd is making it. Um, we make our own ice cream. Todd got a ice cream machine um, a few years ago from Tyler for Father's Day. And oh my goodness, he makes the best ice cream. Um, okay, so I'm going to put my base together right now and then I'll sort of do everything. So, oh, just a sec. I need my silicone mat. I am without it. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to put this down. And I want to get this one ready, too, because this is going to be going on top of it. So this is basic black. And this, by the way, is not any color that's in either of those designer papers. It is Coastal Cabana, in case you can't tell. But I thought it would look good with Sweet Sorbet. Because um, I remember... Um, I remember liking this with poppy parade and so um i remember a card that i did a while ago that was like was like that okay so i want this sort of up there oops i did it wrong i used this piece specifically because somehow i got marker on it and then i put it on the wrong way okay so we're gonna put this down here Okay, and I'm going to put my white piece down. Don't mind the stamping on the back or the ink on the back. Okay, so I used my, um, my cup glass. We call it a glass. Um, this fountain cup or fountain glass dye with the um, the glimmer paper. So I have the ombre part here. Um, at first I wasn't sure that I liked this lighter part. I wanted to use it, but then it wasn't looking so good. Oh, yay. Okay, thanks, Nancy. Um, so I'm going to put this down right here. All right, and then... I'm going to put, okay, so I chose these colors. So I have early espresso and um, soft suede. <laughs> I, the, um, yeah, the, the homemade ice cream would be amazing. It, but we don't make a lot at one time, so it's sort of hard to 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 do that. Anyway, early espresso and soft white. And besides, you're in a morning club now. <laughs> I'm glad you like the ombre glimmer glass, Jamie. Um, okay, so what these made me think of is like chocolate ice cream for sure. Um, <clears throat> and some people probably like coffee kind of ice cream. Um, I... Uh, I do not like coffee, but I thought of a couple different kinds of chocolate that I like. Um, so one is um, chocolate marshmallow. For some reason, I just love that. And I'm going to open this just a little bit because it might need to go in there too. And the other that I love is like a chocolate with a chocolate chip in it sort of thing. All right, I'm getting my spoon ready. And this spoon's so cute. I used my, I don't know if you can tell, I used my um, silver foil sheets with this. Um, now I want liquid glue on this one. I just want it to help hold it a little bit. Um, so like chocolate with chocolate chunk or chocolate with brownie or something like that. But um, Todd's chocolate is I'm making hungry. <laughs> Todd's chocolate is um it's just chocolate and okay so I'm gonna tuck this in here before I put it down. I think it will help me. Todd's is just chocolate but it's just so smooth. I just love it. 
Okay, so I'll tuck that in here. So I'm covering up the other, the other slit that's there. Mmm, isn't that awesome? I love it. Um, so his chocolate is my favorite, but it's funny. Even, um, even his vanilla is amazing because um, we get real vanilla beans. It's it's quite amazing. Okay, so I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to make draw my chocolate chunks in here. We don't have a stamp like with sprinkles or something like that. I have to tell you, I do not like sprinkles uh, at all. Um, I don't mind like the... I'm just making little triangles. Um, I don't mind like the little like sugar crystals or the balls, but the actual, like the, the long tube ones, I, I don't like those at all. Um, okay, so I have some chocolate chunks in there. And now what I'm going to do, we did this. Yes, they're waxy. That's exactly it. If you put them in your sink, they don't even dissolve. <laughs> it's gross. Um, okay, so I'm doing, I'm using this trick that I used, um, at our, <laughs> I'm so bad with sprinkles. Like if there's some sprinkles on a donut that gets on my donut on mistake, I like flick them all off or, <laughs> or like on, I like, what are those called? Oh, what are those sugar cookies called? Um, loft house cookies. Um, you love this one of sprinkle. <laughs> I don't like the chocolate sprinkles, Stephanie. Um, but yes, the spoon is cute. I love it too. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> um, the loft house cookies, I get off as many of those sprinkles as I can before I eat them. Okay, so we use this idea. Um, oh, I might even have the card by me. I shared it after a sec. It was buried here somewhere. I shared it after um, retreat. We used um, white craft ink on this card at retreat to color in the little flowers because I wanted my white daisies to match these white daisies. Um, so I'm doing the same thing here. So I'm making this my, um, so this is just ink refill, white craft ink refill. So I'm making some marshmallow in my, in my um, milk chocolate one here. And that might be enough for that one. Okay, then I also decided I was gonna put um, little dots of it. This could be like, white chocolate um chips in here too or maybe this one's like a rocky road or something like that if if this one has marshmallows too i'm making these smaller because they're not spread out so much especially if they're if they're they are not sprinkles though let me tell you <laughs> oh todd had my um my nephews, oh, and my niece was still in there too, cracking up when we went to visit them in San Antonio. New catalogs will come, well, so Stampin' Up! will ship complimentary catalogs to their demonstrators around the 29th when the online version of it goes live for demonstrators. Um, as far as catalogs for customers, I will be ordering them, oh, is April 4, I think might be the day that we can first pre-order, I don't remember. So I'll be ordering catalogs then, and then, then they'll come in sometime um, after that, that that month within the next couple weeks. So middle of April, um, people should start getting catalogs. Okay, so here is my um, my card so far. Oh, so I was saying Todd had my niece and nephews 
cracking up because um, I placed my order. So we went to this really yummy um, um, ice cream sandwich place. It was crazy. Like you had um, choices of like 10 or 12 different cookies. Um, so you could choose two different cookies if you wanted to. And they, then they put a great big scoop of ice cream in between it. And then you could wrap the ice cream in sprinkles or some other sort of topping if you wanted. And so I had placed my order and gone outside to to be there for when the first nephew got his um, his ice cream sandwich done. And so Todd was in there and he said, you know what, we should put sprinkles on Aunt Stephanie's, on Aunt Stephanie's ice cream sandwich. She would hate it. And they were just laughing at how I like flick everything off. Okay, so I'm putting on here, you're the cherry on top, but I forgot to put my cherry on top. Um, but that's okay because it doesn't have to be in any particular order necessarily. Okay, I'm using liquid glue on here again, so it can hold on well. So I don't know if you noticed or not, but in this stamp set, there are, there is a cherry that you can um, stamp, but I just used um, the die with the glimmer paper again. So this time I wanted the deeper, I didn't want the ombre way down there. So I used the deeper, um, the deeper red or sweet sorbet um, towards the top. Okay, there's one last thing that I want to do here. And I'm going to use my, I practiced, the, practiced this, so hopefully it goes well. <clears throat> I want to do some squiggles and add an embellishment. So I don't want to, I want to take my time with it so they look cute. All right, good enough. And then, where'd they go? Then I'm going to, these are, what's the name of this bundle? Share a Milkshake. It's page 12 in the mini catalog. Um, thank you. Okay, one last thing that I'm going to do here. So I made my little squiggles. And I'm going to use, these are embellishments that are in the full catalog. These are 2022 through 2024 in color matte decorative dots. So all five of the newest in colors are here. And I'm going to grab these darkest ones. I want them to go right here between my, between my little squiggles. There. All done. That's my card. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it, Marsha. All right, so obviously I need to make sure that I let this dry because remember, Craft Ink, um, it takes longer to dry. It's the one, it's pigment ink, so it's the one that you can emboss with it, um, with embossing powder. Um, so thank you, Jamie. I'm glad that you love it. Okay, so let's see here. All right, so the next one that I'm doing um, I'm going to be using a couple dies again. Three to be exact. Two of them are already cut out. Um, I'm going to set those aside. And I'm going to build my card and go from there. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Yeah, it does look yummy. I love chocolate ice cream. But it's funny. I, um, I'm really slow at eating ice cream. I always have been. Um, my sister, Teresa, loves ice cream. Um, this is, thinking about this memory is what um, made me go with this card. <clears throat> we um, we lived in Ohio, and it's funny, sh those of you who know Sherry more, um, her, does she call him a boyfriend? Thanks, Marlene. Um, I think she calls him a boyfriend, I don't remember. His family lives down where I used to live, where I lived until I was like in sixth grade and they had a I think they still have um an ice cream place down there that was similar to like a Baskin Robbins 
And um, so we would go there every now and then, and we could pick whatever ice cream wanted. And even with all those flavors, my sister still always picked chocolate. And I often would pick orange sherbet. And so that memory made me think of um, what I want to do today. So, um, so I'm going to do a couple things. Um, I remember one time I went into the ice cream parlor and I ordered my ice cream and I took one lick and licked it right off the top of my ice cream cone onto the floor. <laughs> I was so sad. Fortunately, they were very nice and, um, and they gave me more. The owners did. Okay, so this is Petal Pink. This is Petal Pink and this is Early Espresso. So I want to put this white down. Mmm. Yeah, I like orange sherbet. Sometimes that's my go-to if I can't decide on a different flavor. It's just sort of refreshing sometimes. Okay, so what I want to do, I don't do this often, but what I want to do this time, um, I used to do it a lot, and we actually had products that helped us do this. Um, I'm actually using the center of my white layer here for one of my dyes that I'm going to use. So this is going to be behind everything, but I'm using my dye with it. So this is the dye that I'm using from um, the bundle. And I'm still using my blue machine. It was just the one here, so sorry. Oh, and one more thing. So remember I've been telling you, you can use your, your light gray, your number three, instead of your number one. For this one, I wanted to use my number one because the first time through it didn't cut all the way. It definitely needed this, um, the tightness here. Excuse me. So what I need to do is the other tip that I gave you, which is setting it up like an E. So here's the long stem of the E. Here's the middle short stem of the E. Um, I'm going to put this on here. I have to be over all my layers here. And... I need my dye on the front. I put masking, no, that's not called masking tape, um, adhesive sheet on the back so that I already have adhesive on this. Um, and then this is the top long stem on the E. Um, so this is how, can you see the sandwich? E, here's the top, middle, bottom. Um, here's how you can help this go through that's so tight that sometimes doesn't work well for you. So hopefully this works while I'm showing you right now. Oh yeah, it's going on just fine. Okay, and it's really tight. It's intended to be that way so that it gives a good cut. That's what Stampin' Up! says, which I get. <clears throat> okay. And just for extra security, I ran it back too. All right, so I'm going to run this through, or I'm done running this through. So I can pop this out. So I have my die here with my, with my piece. It's going to become a background. Um, I'm just going to set that aside for the moment. And I'm going to put this down. So, oh, I can peel it off. I had a smaller piece when I was working with this earlier. So I can peel this off, but I'm not just relying on this to be my adhesive for um, for this background piece. It doesn't seem to like to come off because it's cutting into it with these with these lines of hatch lines, cross hatch lines, something like that. I don't know what you call it. It's bigger than a hashtag, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put this down on my petal pink. So this is just, this is not intended to be any sort of design for this. This is just gonna be my background. But I used, made use of the white cardstock that is underneath it. So this is just going right on top. Like I said, I don't do this often. 
I don't think of it. <laughs> um, and sometimes it's just more annoying than anything. But I saved myself some cardstock and extra cutting. Okay, now before I get this going, um, I want to do some stamping on it just a little bit. Thank you for sharing. Um, so I'm using Petal Pink, and there are some cute little, I don't know if you can see them, cute little hearts here that I want to ink up and stamp around here a little bit. Um, so I just want to do a little bit of designing. I like stamping on my designer paper. I like giving it a different sort of look. Okay, um, can this go down now? I think this can go down. So we're gonna put this on our card base. Thanks, it does add a lot. It makes it unique designer paper, even though everybody else has the designer paper, it's something different. Okay, so I wanna show you this die this die <clears throat> is for a waffle cone. Or you could cut it here and just make it a sugar cone, probably. Just a sec. So these two lines right here are just um, score lines. They're not cutting lines. Obviously, around the outside, it cuts it. So here it is, right here. I'm not sure if you can see the texture. And partly because of that, that you can't see it, I want to use my... <laughs> it is the Food Network this morning. Except I'm not really teaching food. <laughs> Just working with it. Um, so I'm using my small blending brush with um, Early Espresso. And I'm going to ink it up. I started using this differently. It's still a learning curve. But I've seen people who are really good with this. They, like, rub it on here. And then rub it. And then move on to their... Oh, already you can see a difference. Then they move on to their cardstock from their scrap. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Oh, I don't know if you can see still. So, from my view anyway just doing this little bit of sponging brushing blending um i can see these lines here the waffle cone lines um better than like this side hi lisa marie <clears throat> oh good i'm glad you can see it okay so i'm trying to um i still wanted it this lighter soft suede, but I really wanted these waffle cone lines to show up. Okay. Oh, good. I'm so glad you can see it. You clean the brushes. I don't know how others clean it. I rarely clean it. You clean the brushes um, with warm water under the sink um, but the one time that I cleaned my brushes, I had been using them for so long, the color was all down into the brushes. Um, and so once I cleaned it, it looked clean. I came back later and the color had wicked to the top of the, the brush again. I don't know if any of you, if all of you have touched these, but they are so soft. So what I tend to do rather than cleaning my brushes is I keep them for similar colors. So like this might be for all my browns, I have one for blues, that sort of thing. So that's my preference. I'm not a cleaner, I don't like cleaning and it didn't do well when I tried to clean it because I had been using it for classes and the same card for so long that it just got embedded in there. Okay, so I'm folding on the score line here. So here is my waffle cone. Okay, now before I put this all down, I forgot I need to work on this again a second. So I'm going to put my greeting on the bottom here. This greeting that I'm using this time is Life is Sweeter with You. 
So I'm just putting it right at the bottom in early espresso. Ha! Cheap Dollar Tree microfiber cloth. Rub the brush on a dry cloth if it helps. Okay, good to know. Thanks, Lisa Marie. Gotcha. All right, well, you got a few more suggestions there for you, Stephanie. All right, so I have my greeting. Now I want to put down my, um, my background layer here. We're going to see if this will work. So what I want to do, rather than try to poke out all of those things, is just peel the backing off. I'm getting a bunch of them, but not all of them. Maybe if I peel it this way, more will fall out. I don't like doing all the the poking. I don't like using the brush. I don't like grabbing one more thing. So this one's not so bad because the pieces are big. But a bunch of it does come off when you just peel the backing off. And I dry them bristles down after I rinse so the water doesn't just pool in the glue. Good idea. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so I'm putting this down. This is a pretty fine um, grid, I'll call it, crosshatch, whatever you want to call it. The adhesive wasn't, you barely can, oh, now I can see it. The adhesive wasn't sticking very well, but I had a smaller piece of it um, the last time. But, um, so because of that, I wanted to... Um, I'm going to be putting liquid glue on here to help hold this down too. So what I'm doing here is I actually want to glue this closed because it'll just, I'm just going to tuck my ice cream down in here. So I'm gluing this closed. I'm gluing this closed because I feel like there's just so much that will try to open up if I don't because I'm totally folding two things down. Okay, thanks, Marsha. Thanks for joining me. Um, so I'm holding this down. Liquid glue is your is the way to go this way. I don't think tear and tape would hold this because both of these are trying to come down, um, and they both have to be held. And one is being held on another folded thing, and I think they will just pull up too much. So liquid glue and holding this down is going to be your friend. Now, if you want it to be open and rounded, you can do that, but I don't need that for this. So I have it done enough. Okay, so I have my orange sherbet here in the form of Mango Melody. And again... Um, I know this is totally not the right color, but it's what I had, and it worked. So I'm just adding a little bit of early espresso. Um, you know, there's always sort of some residual color here. I'm ordering some, or adding some to my ice cream, to my sherbet here, um, just to help it look more defined with one color on top of another color. I think it'll just, it'll show better, okay? All right, so again, I'm using liquid glue. I just feel like these pieces will want to come out. I don't know why. So a little bit there, a little bit there. So I'm gonna tuck one in. And then tuck one in. I'm sort of trying to hide the, the flat edge of this. All right, and then um, I want liquid glue on here again. Because this is going to go here. Okay, and again, I'm going to hold it down. So that's the tip. 
I don't know the, what the tip is for not getting glue on your fingers because that drives me crazy, but the tip for <laughs> making this glue work really well is just to hold it for a little bit, and then it actually is um, a really, really good glue. Okay, so here's my card. I'm just going to add a couple embellishments. Um, so I'm going to use Milky Dots. I have tons of these right now. I bought a bunch for, um, for Hostess Appreciation. And, um, all right, so you vote. Which one do you think I should put on my sherbet card? Should I use the mango one and bring that color out more or use the petal pink that goes with the actual cardstock or use white? Help me decide. We're going to vote. Um, so I have these for hostess appreciation, but I didn't... Um, Yes. What is he? Yes. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of them just left over because we didn't use the whole packs and I didn't have enough mango. Okay. One vote for mango. Um, um, I don't think then the scoops pop. Okay. Gotcha. I like that idea. Two for petal pink. Two for, uh-oh, two for mango. We need a tiebreaker. Anyway, I have a bunch of these partial packs. One of each. No, that's not a tiebreaker, Marlene. <laughs> mango, Terry got the tiebreaker. Oops, and I just dropped something. Um. Okay, going with mango. So I'm going to put one there. All I have are the big ones on this pack. One there. Maybe I want to open the other pack. I feel like I want, I feel like I don't want them all to be big, especially since we're going with mango. I had another pack here. Where did it go? Oh, good. There's just some small ones here. See, I have all these partial ones everywhere. Uh, there, that's better. Okay. Okay. There's my card. <laughs> so here's my my orange sherbet that got away. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put you back up. Um, undo my magic. So I'm going to on upside down you put you backwards again and come up <clears throat> okay so here is my um last card that i made okay so now i have another another quick vote for you um so there's that one and then so this is the one that i just made i'm going to show you one that i made last night um, I was, I was playing with the colors and trying to see what I wanted. Um, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you sharing, Stephanie. Um, so I wanted this to look sort of retro with my, with my Coastal Cabana, but I was having a hard time deciding if, if, um, the Sweet Sorbet looked good with it or not. So here's the one that I made last night. So I used not the ombre one. Not the ombre one last night when I was working. And then used, the, used some lighter um, oops, there it is, um, embellishments too. Okay. So if I were to include one of these as part of my dazzling card club, which one do you think I should do? Which one do you think? Because I'm still designing. So what's your vote? Let's go. You can either say top or bottom. Okay, top. Or you can say Coastal Cabana or Petal Peach. Excuse me. All right. So you saw them. Now you can decide. <laughs> 
And I'll take it under oh, cherry top. Oh, you guys like my first one that I did. Cool. I I have a feeling that people aren't aren't going to like the um, little squiggle thing, drawing that themselves <laughs> on their card. Um, but it is definitely a fun card. Okay, let's see. So I do not have registration open yet for my Dazzling Card Club. I want to get some... <clears throat> Not voting, you can't decide. <laughs> um, uh, I need to get some more samples made because I like giving you sneak peeks, not the whole thing. Though if I include this, you'll already know one of them. Um, thank you, I'm glad that you guys like them so much. Um, um, so I will be opening registration up next week for my Dazzling Card Club. I'm so excited, so... Yesterday was um, was the only in-person class that I'm having. Um, the rest are getting mailed out. Um, so yesterday was the first time that I gifted my um, attendees or members um, their swag bag um, with six months in a row of um, signing up for the Dazzling Card Club. Um, they get a swag bag. So they got uh, a bag with some gifts in it, some Stampin' Up! product. And um, so it's so much fun. She was, she, um, so I had one person yesterday, I think. Yes, I. sorry, my mind just goes weird. She was so happy with um, her gifts that she got. Um, so I will open registration next week and um, give you a sneak peek of what I'm, what we're going to be making and um, so as part of the Dazzling Card Club, you get product, you'll get stuff that we're going to be used, um, you get $25, no, $20 of product um, as part of the class. So um, you can make the stuff that we're doing, eight cards, we do two each of four designs. Um, so you can make the cards at the class, and then um, you have product to go home and make some more, so... Uh, it's fun. Okay, I think I'm done for today. I'm done sharing a milkshake with you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. And I will see you again next week, Wednesday, um, 1030 a.m. Eastern Time. And have a great week. Thanks. Don't forget to share my video. Bye.